Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about how to fix the error 0xc00007b in GTA 5. The application was unable to start correctly. As I've seen on a lot of forums this is a very common issue. Now uh, after the GTA 5 game was launched on Epic Games as a free game for a while. So in this video I'm going to show you a few steps and a few methods that will hopefully help you fix this problem it is indeed a very annoying error and an annoying problem but hopefully after watching this video you will be able to play the game without getting any errors of this kind so I'm just gonna jump right into the methods uh, but uh, before doing that I just want you to know that I assume that you already tried to reinstall the game that would be the first thing you should try I know if you have a bad internet connection it, that could take some time but reinstalling the game should be the best solution sometimes Times. Of course, if that's not the case, watch this video because we're going to try some things and I'm going to show you a few methods that will help you get rid of this error. First of all, make sure you have your shortcut. First of all, make sure you have your GTA 5 shortcut uh, somewhere. I have it here on my desktop. So first of all, right click on it and click on properties, then go to compatibility and then select run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select from here Windows 7. And as well, check this box, run this program as an administrator administrator and click on apply and OK. This would be the first thing that you should try. So if this didn't fix the problem, that means that the problem is a bit deeper, maybe somewhere in the important system files. But now we're going to try to update net framework. Framework is a very important part in uh, running GTA 5 or games like GTA 5. So we're going to have to go to the search bar and type in here control and open up the old control panel. If your control panel shows up like this, just go here on view by category and uh, select large icons then go down a bit where it says programs and features click on it and in the left side here turn windows features on or off click on it and wait a bit because the features will load up now from here you're gonna have to locate net framework 3.5 includes net 2.0 and 3.0 select it and then click on ok windows will search automatically for the required files and will install it them for you as you can see here windows needs files from windows update to finish installing some features and you should select let windows update download the files for you click on that and windows will start to download those files and install net framework 3.5 2.0 and 3.0 and that should help fix in the problem next up we're going to update some dll files from windows 10 uh, and the dll file that we're looking for is x input 13.dll this is a very important dll in windows that that can be corrupted or maybe even missing if you're getting this weird error while trying to run the game. So just open up a web browser and type in here x input one underscore three dot dll and search for it. You can go to dllfiles.com. This is a very good website where you can download uh, dll files. So we're gonna go down a bit and click on the uh, orange download button and we're gonna download this um, dll file in our Windows operating system. We're gonna save the file on our desktop save it and it will be downloaded on our desktop make sure you can extract it right click on it and then click on extract all if for some reason you cannot extract it make sure you install WinRAR. WinRAR is a very good program that should help you extract those types of files so we have here the dll right click on it and then click on copy and then go here to this pc local disk c windows and then press s on your keyboard and search for syswow64 double click on it enter into this folder and here press ctrl v and the file or the dll file will start to copy of course we're going to need some administrative privileges to do that so make sure you were logged in to the administrator account then click on continue and this will be the dll in my case as you can see i didn't have this dll file so this should help you fix the issue after trying all this if the game still doesn't work um, just make sure you go down below in the description i'm going to leave you a link where you can download DirectX and from here you can download it and of course update it or reinstall it if you already have it installed. Uh, this is a very good way of uh, updating DirectX because DirectX is also another very important part in uh, running the game. So just click on download, make sure to download that um, file, click on run, click on yes and of course DirectX will start to install. Just follow the easy setup, make sure you don't install the Bing bar, click on next and of course the components will start to install, initialize and everything should be 
good to go. Another thing that we should do is to reinstall Microsoft Visual C++ redistribute table. So we're going to uninstall it first manually. Just go into the search bar and type in here control again and click on the old control panel and then go uh, where it says programs and features. And now you're going to have to search here for Microsoft uh, Visual C++ x86 or x64 most of you will have a x64 bit version of windows but if for some reason you have an x86 you should try to search for that so in this step easily just search for it up here in the right side then select it and uninstall in my case i don't have it installed in this operating system so that's why i can show you that but for, search for it and then select it and uninstall to reinstall it again i'm gonna leave you down below in the description two links the first link will be for the x86 version versions of Windows and the second link will be for the x64 versions of Windows. As we did to, with the DirectX, just click on download uh, on your preferred version of Windows and install the setup very easily. After the installation is complete, of course, make sure to restart your system and try to run the game again. So this would be some methods that you should try in order to fix the problem. I'm really hoping that you manage to fix it. But uh, one last thing, of course, update Windows, very important type in here update check for updates and make sure you have the latest version of windows 10 many of you don't think that updating windows is really important but it is very very important because uh, windows updates does not only come with security updates windows update comes also with fixes for uh, corrupted windows files missing windows files and stuff like that so make sure you have your windows 10 up to date if you're here just click on download and make sure you download all the windows updates and they will be installed automatically and once you restart uh, everything should be updated so this was the video guys make sure you try all these solutions i'm really hoping that you will be able to fix the problems uh, if you didn't make sure to leave a comment down below also make sure to leave a comment down below with other solutions to this problem if you know some and of course if the video was useful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated uh, if you don't want to miss any future uploads like this one in which i show you different methods to fixing um, various uh, errors. Until next time, I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Have a nice day.